Hello everyone, this is July 26th update on One Commander version 3 alpha build 248. Download link is in the description. In this version, the first time a new window is opened, it will show in single pane layout for easier onboarding of new users in a similar layout to Windows File Explorer. Columns are collapsed and they can be then expanded for easy navigation. You can do that by hitting the button or you can just drag the expander wide enough until the columns appear. Um, for now we have this dash line to indicate there is a second panel which can be expanded and if you just grab it from the side and expand it wide enough the next panel will appear. So we can collapse it to another side and we have the dash line here. Uh, later I will add buttons to this uh, divider so it's easier to see there is a panel on the on one or, or side or the other. Resizing of panels is improved overall and they should have sh should behave more intuitively on changing window size. So for example you can see here they will collapse and uh, later they will try to restore to the original size then um, the window layout is saved between sessions so whatever you adjust here when you reopen the, reopen the program the theme will be restored and uh, layout the way it was so whether it is single pane or dual uh, pane layout Due to a lot of requests for aligning columns to the left, I have added it in this version and for now it's default to see how it behaves. Uh, so let's say I click to program files, the new column just opens to the to the right. I can continue navigating and they will just open in place. Now this works well on this vertical layout where we have the navigation pane on the top but if we switch to horizontal layout and let's say the window is larger then we will end up with some blank space here between the preview and and the columns which might look ugly especially on large screens I don't know what to do with it yet um, but I won't be considering enlarging the preview to fit the space like Apple does as that would be just pain in the ass to implement now. Um, in this version um, there is more settings related how the columns behave so if I open the settings and switch to columns you can see now you can create new columns without animating you can align columns to the left or right the other two options don't do anything yet and you can read what each of these options does so you can customize it to behave the way you want it you can also disable this interaction of columns expanding when the mouse enters it and you can even adjust the minimum width that will trigger the expansion so it doesn't expand if it is already wide enough then I have exposed more keys for customization of theme like the button size uh, color of each state etc so there is also this focus uh, is showing now this marching ants decorator instead of the just framing on the edges which was confusing in the previous version uh, then files can be opened now in switch back to the, horizontal, the vertical layout by double clicking also in this column and um, I fixed a lot of bugs I hope I didn't make new ones for the next version I'll add settings for the font size and custom icons will go to the theme folder so we can have separate set of icons for light and dark theme or other themes you create so we won't have this issue where 
this icon is made for the dark theme and it only works uh, for the light theme and it only works in light and now it's too dark so we have to switch it here to, to be able to see it so um, you can download and try this new version and please let me know if you have any feedback for me and uh, if you have any ideas for the, for the improvement thank you